If you have fatty liver disease or other health problems related to being overweight, then you need to understand what fat actually does in your body. And that's why in this video, we're going to discuss the truths about fat. Fat is an essential lightweight storage of energy. Our ability to take a large amount of energy and compact it into a small lightweight package helps us to be animals that roam the earth. If we were stuck only with bulky carbohydrates like starch to store our energy, we would weigh far more and struggle to move. Think of it like this. When the space shuttle launches into space, its weight is a big determinant of how much it costs to launch. And so it's essential that we get things as light as possible. And that's the reason that astronauts' food is dried out. Our liver helps us to perform the same feat. It removes water from carbohydrate, leaving the dense energy of carbon compacted into a tight space we call fat. It may seem incredible, but the fat that we struggle with in present times as a cause of being overweight was originally intended to help us to weigh less and move more. So if you're trying to lose weight, it's important to dispel some of the myths about fat and the process to lose it so that you can be as healthy as possible. The first myth is that you cannot be fat and be in shape. If you're eating nutritious and you're active, but you're overweight, you may actually be far healthier than somebody who's really skinny but is eating poorly and doesn't get around much. So the amount of fat you have is not strictly correlated to how in shape you are. A person who is overweight could make some big changes. They could eat healthier and start working out. And as they lose fat, they may actually gain muscle. And so the number on the scale will stay the same. But what I hope is as the proportion of muscle to fat changes, the way you feel will improve. Because studies have shown that a person who is fat and fit will live longer and healthier than a person who is skinny but unfit. The next myth is that weight loss is the main goal. It's not. The goal here is to live healthier and feel more vibrant. And that's why I encourage that as you embark on weight loss, you think about a diet that you can live with for a long time and enjoy. And that's why so many people enjoy the Mediterranean diet. It practically sounds like a vacation. Putting a number as your main goal causes stress, dismay, and anxiety. Because the fact is, is that that number can fluctuate even as you make consistent, positive changes. And so you need to focus on the process of eating healthy, living healthy, being active. But if you're to pick a number, what should you follow? Body fat percentage may be more technically accurate correlation towards health, but that's difficult to measure without specialized equipment. Much simpler is to look at your waist circumference because that will change in a more steady way than the number on the scale. Waist circumference is so important because of the next falsehood that I want to expose, myth number three, is that all fat is the same. There are two very distinct types of fat, and that's based on where it's distributed within your body. Fat that is immediately under your skin, subcutaneous fat, exposes you to much less health risk than the fat that resides within organs, also called visceral fat. And this is best highlighted in the disease fatty liver. When the liver takes in excess calories from a recent meal, it has to figure out something to do with those. When the liver is working properly, it takes those excess calories, packages them into a fatty molecule, and shuttles them throughout the body. When that fat gets transported to subcutaneous stores, it's much safer for your overall health than when the fat gets stuck inside the liver. And that's when you get fatty liver disease, and that can cause inflammation in the liver, dysfunction of the liver, and over a long period of time, can cause scarring of the liver, liver cirrhosis. And when fat lands in other organs, like the colon or the pancreas or the heart, it can cause damage to those organs in distinct ways. This concept leads to our final myth, and that is that people have to be overweight to develop fatty liver disease. That's not necessarily true because some people harbor a genetic mutation that makes it difficult for their liver to transport fat outside the liver. These people much more readily accumulate fat inside the liver, leading to fatty liver disease even when they're a normal weight. Contrast that with people who would have to be obese before they develop fatty liver. In future videos, we'll discuss myths about how different foods affect your ability to lose weight. If you've enjoyed this information, please subscribe to the channel to learn more about how food impacts your gut and liver health. Thank you and be safe.